I think New York has greatly inspired the undertaking of painterly abstraction, for sure. I mean, just the history here, and not only the history, but just the way the architecture, the way that the city cultures are on top of, living on top of each other, all over each other, mixing. It's, it just, there's something very painterly about New York. I'm writing code. It's sort of a library of code that I've been developing for a while now to generate what feels like painterly abstraction. But in fact, it's all data. Like a system of logic that um, is based on sort of my observation, mostly of paintings that I look at as digital images anyway. So the idea is to create sort of a dialogue, like I increasingly look at more and more painting online, which is totally different, of course, than seeing a, an actual painting firsthand. Um, I write algorithms based on that, that observation. And so variables like the color of the paint, the viscosity of the paint, the way that the binder, the pigment sticks into the binder, the substrate, the drippiness of the paint, those are all variables that I've built sort of logic systems that calculate and decide how, how those might appear in a compositional matrix. So it's computer art. <laughs> I mean, I feel like coding in many ways is like kind of pure concept art, you know, because it's, I mean, it's only subject to the sort of uh, parameters and limitations that I've sort of informed it with. It's just about being able to sort of subscribe phenomenon or observation or will to reason. And that's when it gets really interesting for me. And that opens up a whole lot of questions, you know about the decisions made, you know. I mean, for example, why is it dripping? Well, it doesn't, certainly doesn't need to. There's certainly no imp inherent property of, of these images that make it drip. So they're very much authored images. It's just that um, I also throw in a lot of um, chance for surprise to develop those compositions. So the paintings don't just generate like a scan line might in a video. The paintings actually uh, build themselves in layers. I just have one painting hand at a time painting and every once in a while it will decide to change color or move itself or change brush and when it makes that decision then it's going to start with the canvas that it left behind and react to that and build the compositions slowly over time over many 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 layers and then at determined intervals it exports a version of itself. Digital art has no, I don't think it has any implicit form. It assumes sound, or it assumes video, or it assumes, right, photography, right? It's sort of eating, right, or re-contextualizing, uh, literally, digitizing, right, um, other forms of what we understand as art making, or other cultural forms, other media forms. It's funny how you know, even when you abandon materiality, it's all the, all the logic of it is still there, you know, <laughs> like, you know, time and space, really.